So basic obedience week three. So this would be the second part to the sit. I know the first video really was a true to life video. The what? Yes, whatever you're going to go through with your dog. Part B. So we've got the basic fundamentals of how to get him into the sit. The part B is we. I really find it useful if we can get an automatic sit at the site. So it means whenever you stop with your dog, what they do is they, they learn through more and more focus exercises how to pay attention to you. So instead of looking around the environment, they're paying attention to your body. So what happens when, yes. When you stop, you don't realize it, but your shoulder actually slightly dips back. That will eventually become your dog's signal to go to a sit. So you won't even have to verbally say anything, plus lots of repetitions will really help you. Um, what I usually say to students is it helps. You can say the word sit to your dog when you first start practicing this, but eventually you won't have to. <laughs> Mozzie, I know, there's so much going on in life. You go find it. So, what I'm going to do, I'm going to do a couple of steps forward. Before Mozzie goes past my knee, I'm going to stop. I'm going to bring the treat up and over his head, and I'm going to ask him to go into, well, not verbally going to ask him, but through using treats, I'm going to get him to do the sideways sit. Problems you might come across with your dogs is because you've spent so much time always rewarding them from the front, instead of them sitting there, what they do is they scooch their body right to the front to get the treat. The other thing that might happen is dogs, they, they have four legs, but they know to use the front legs, but unless you do a lot of body awareness conditioning with your dogs, what will happen? They forget about the back end, so you might not get a perfect straight line. If you want to correct that, just practice against the wall or a sofa, so it means when you stop, they don't get a choice but to finish in that straight line. Okay, let's give it a go. So, a couple of steps forward. Nice. Treat above the head. Perfect. So I'm just going to step back because I only want to reward when his shoulder is in line with my leg. Good boy. So release. Okay. We'll try that again. Was it? Ready? So a couple steps forward. Backwards has got a lot to do with body pressure. He's not quite used to be me being that close to him. Yes, you can have that. Okay, so I'm gonna release him. Okay, so that was actually quite good. It isn't always that straightforward, but I have found um, when I've trained dogs or other people because I spend a lot of time doing this above his head, even you just doing this becomes a signal for them. Okay, but that's the basic foundations for the, the sideways sit. Definitely highly recommended if you want your dog not to jump over people when they approach you. They cannot sit and um, jump over people at the same time. So good impulse control game for your dogs. 